Life as a solo in Rust on a good day is hard, but today was all about this guy, the neuter. And boy, did he like to kill me and rub it in my face. Stupid. Thank you for what, man. Love you. <laughs> this is the story of how I made the neuter rage quit. So this was a complete fresh start, which meant I didn't have any blueprints. And for those of you that don't know, you need blueprints to be able to craft things in this game, such as guns. So I would need to research a lot of things. And to do that, you need scrap. So I decided to live near the sewer branch, as that is my favorite monument. 170 scrap is a great start, guys. It's actually really good. The sewer branch isn't far away. I'm just gonna make my way up there. But this base has windows. You might have fucked up, mate. You might have fucked up. Done. I had a great base location overlooking the sewer branch, so I'd be able to see when the crates respawned and make the most efficient attempts at getting scrap. However, there was a huge clan overlooking it as well. Oh my god, that's a huge find so early on. A satchel. Huge find. Not even been on the server 20 minutes. Red button. Another pipe, okay. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. I straight away took the satchel home to deposit it as now that took me one step closer to raiding. And speaking of which, I wanted to check out my neighbor's base. I'm just checking out to see if there's any weakness in this base. And by weakness, I mean half floors so I can get up without boost. Half floor, Ooh, there's another half floor. Can I get up? Well, not with a jump like that. Now I can, yay. All right, up there. Here, incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Up came Sebi and saw there was a box. Eco raid, we got one now. Let's do it. Yes, we're gonna get some loot. Of course. I, I didn't even get a bag. I didn't even get a bag. I just realized I don't have I don't have a bag. Oh my god. I told you, Sebi, don't get distracted. When you get distracted, you do stupid things. Like that. I don't have a metal door. They could raid me any second. So without a sleeping bag, I would have to run back to my base, and that was quite a trick. Maybe I find a gun on the floor. It's an online raid, tell you that much. I don't know where they're blowing in from. Okay. I can't counter that. I say, I say counter. There's no way up. And just as the sun sets, I make it home. They took my pipe. I farm some wood and well, started the eco raid. 23, done. Right, any second now. Yes. I didn't, I never got a bag. I don't see any cloth around. Fuck it. I'm just going for it. Oh. It turns out this was just a roof camping tower to look over the sewer branch, but I got a saw, which I really desperately needed to research because this would make me competitive against other people with guns. Cloth for bag. Cloth for bag. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got TC as well. Great. 
I banked the stuff I'd gotten from that eco raid and then I moved on to another eco raid. I'd seen a base with the wall the wrong way round, so it was time to go into that. All right, here we go, guys. 20. Three spears. Done. And we begin. don't because <laughs> we're not in oh i thought i was into loot two door raid yeah but i need to farm i've got a satchel i can research i just need a bean can anyone selling anyone selling 250 scrap for a level two interesting one stone for 250 pickles nobody's selling bean can i decided i want to go ahead and raid this place because i'd get not only a tier two workbench but also whatever loot's inside. However, first I needed to farm up scrap so I could research the bean can grenade in order to craft the satchels required. Oh, another satchel. Guys, recalculate for me. Found another satchel, recalculate. And now I need six satchels. It didn't take me long to get what I needed. I got loads of furnace to smelting sulfur and I started the bean can production. Wish me luck. Risking my sar just to protect myself. being safe oh they're fast don't oh don't destroy the furnaces fuck i can't get out now no choice but to get tc Tier two still there. Yes, I need to research ladder. That's good news as well. Monique. Okay. They literally didn't give a shit about this base. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think it was pretty empty? It looks like a lot of boxes. Well, I got my tier two I wanted. I'm going to get the ladder so I can research the ladder. Done. Any I took profit, whatever scraps that were left like and that. went home. Well, I'll take a it. little bit sad, but not overly disheartened. Tomorrow will be a better day for me. I was certain of it. What do you guys think? Should I eco raid in? I mean, I'm skipping a door here and probably another door here. And then I'm here and I can get some sulfur in the smell. I'm just going to do it. I'll do it so I set myself up to do the satchel raid. So by going through this wood ceiling, it would make this raid a lot cheaper, potentially up to three doors saved to get into the main loot. So while I was doing this, once again, I had sulfur smelting and I'd craft the explosives and go in. I wanted today to be a much better day. Hey right, guys, see like I skipped a door. So I'm gonna craft the four, four satchels. We're gonna do them slowly this time. We ain't gonna do it all in one go. I wish you could skin repair benches. That'd be pretty cool. There's a lot of sulfur nodes around my base. Quickly farm the sulfur, get that smelting. And then uh, we will raid that base. I'm just going to check I can actually do my base design. Oh, no, I can't. I can't even honeycomb it. Because I wasn't able to protect my base with honeycomb, I decided to build a new base just next door. And as you can see, look at that clan base right across from me. It's huge. Bang, bang, bang. bang. But I'm going to be uh, a little bit stupid now, guys. Just a little bit stupid. You will see why. So this base design requires armored four. Great target, right? <laughs> I'm completely oh my god i moved all my contents over from my old base to my new base and now it's a lot more secure as i was able to protect the base on the outside with honeycomb now my base is a mess 
I'm sure if that clan saw me building this base and seeing all the high quality metal walls, they'll definitely come and raid me straight away. So it's very important I disguised it with the stone honeycomb. Right, wish me luck. No guns, nothing. Having lost my semi-automatic rifle the night before, I had nothing to protect myself with except a crossbow. So I'd have to hope that no counter raiders would come. Quite close. I need them all to go first time. Fuck my life! Is it open? That kind of shit never happens where it blows first time. I don't have is a ladder anything to destroy the tool covered with ladder 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 um i have to come back with the ladder no choice and um, fire arrows i don't need a ladder i just need fire arrows actually that's all i need fuck's sake naked Oh, bear. I was honestly having the worst luck and now this guy's just killed me and he's probably going to jump in and I'd probably steal the raid. How would I recover this? If taking out TC. I crafted a revolver and a bean can and went back to try and win it back. God, that was so stuck here. Thank you for killing me. Yet another raid that went tits up. This time it was my fault for dying and not being proper prepared to destroy the tool cupboard. However, I went back, picked up the scraps and well, slapped myself around the head a few times and decided time to get serious. So frustrating. I went out on a little roam looking for my next raid. You're probably wondering how I made this guy rage quit. You're probably wondering, who is this guy? Well, we're about to meet him pretty soon. And yes, the story gets a lot better. I know up till now, I've had my ass kicked. But I promise you guys, I'm a persistent guy. And well, things turn my way eventually. I saw an airdrop dropping and the server was literally about to restart. So my aim was to get there just in time and nab it as it restarted. This airdrop, where will it be when the server restarts? The server's restarting like now.
finally a small win this is what i needed i needed a morale boost and this could be it oh i hate my life sometimes maybe it's not him that was not him but i'll tell you who this is this is danuta this is the guy that I make rage quit. This was my first encounter and it most definitely won't be my last. Rip my day today. I want to know who killed me. That's my Tommy, I guarantee it. Look who it is. Danuta. And he was not going to leave me alone. I didn't realize I could have gone all deep there. I also didn't clock at the time that this was Danuta's base and he was the guy fucking with me. You're dead, man. He's right. I'm probably, I'm dead. What the fuck? What? Can someone explain to me what has happened? Oh shit, he's recycling so much stuff. Take a look at the name. It's Danuta. For some reason, his body's down here. Maybe when the server restarted? I'm not entirely sure. However, I benefited. But every part of me wants to risk this AK. But I can't. I can't risk this set. I went out to explore and came across this interesting fellow. Oh, hello! Oh! Oh no! No, 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 no! He's got satchel on him! He's got satchel on him! He's got satchel on him, guys! Base, 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 base! I need to get to my base now and the M2 guys there. Roof camping with M2. Ah. There we go. So funny. He, he laughed in my face. Saw that he had a statue, so I come running out with AK and fuck him up. I then decided it was time to head out for another eco raid. You know I love them. Whoa. Fucking scared the shit out of me. Do I risk the AK? You only live once, right? And just like that, Danuta got his AK set back and he didn't even know I took it in the first place. I later went to the tunnels and saw that somebody had put a fuse in themselves. So I knew that somebody was down here. I went to check it out discreetly. I mean, he could have left. Yeah, he's recycling. What question is, where is he? Danuta again. This guy was a solo and he was getting the better of me every time. And on top of that, I had the roof camping clan to deal with. Come on, the sniper. Eight, 48, 48, 48, 40, 23. It's about to tick over. Right. We're in. Loot. All right. There is loot. There's always good. Doors are open. Thank you. Authorized or on TC's got stuff. Yep. Okay, wow. Um a star. Wow, okay, uh all right, the base is ours. Successful raid, guys. Success I say raid. Research the SAR here. I decided to research the SAR here because I didn't want to lose it, nor the scrap I'd received. This, this is what we needed, guys, to pick me up. I then heard somebody raiding a base close by, so I went to check it out in primitive gear. They must have blown open the back. 
Uh, Hello. I found Danuta raiding, but he'd come out naked to make sure nobody was doing what I was just doing there. You noob too. You noob too. I'm, I don't care. So why are you raiding newbies? These guys just started. You noob, man, too. <laughs> hey, guess what? You're scared. You came out naked. He only put one door down. It just then clicked that when I heard him come out, he only opened one door. He's only put one door. Fucking YOLO life, guys. YOLO life. My plan was to raid his raid and take it over. Come on, Jordan Rands. First up. Yes, one more. Yes, Jordan Rands. Oh, come on. He came out. I I really thought he he took off his clothes, killed himself, so and then ran out naked. Guys, it just isn't going right for me today, is it? Everything I do ends up basically like this. 130 scrap is the highlight of that. I should see the pain in my face right now. Ah, Rust, you suck. <laughs> I thought I heard him outside. He actually went back. It just sums up my fucking day. If it wasn't Danuta, it was the clan hassling me, and I decided my base needed severe upgrading as well. I was beginning to draw attention to myself, even though it wasn't for good things. Thank you for what, man. Love you. Get out of my base. Get out. Get out of my base. Lag. They're prepping to raid me, probably. The thing is, I need wood. Wood desperately. What? Whoa. What the fuck, man? Right. This is the base that I started on. This was a base I blew into earlier and took some stuff from the furnaces. And there's stairs behind here. Also, look how ineffective that shotgun trap is. Check for shotgun traps. No, I think I'm in. I'm actually in. Holy crap, I'm in. Oh my god, a bolty? The loot is so random in here. Generator, I really need that. Got my blades back. Animal fat, nice. Wood, shit. It wasn't worth four satchels, guys. I'll tell you that much. I felt like things were beginning to go my way now. Some successful raids and I hadn't seen Danuta in a while. I wanted to go farm some stone because I needed to upgrade my base further to protect my loot. Oh, it's that kid again. Don't talk to me. Hello, man. Oh, I knew it. 
Danuta. Enough was enough. I took a water pipe and I went to his base. He died, finally. Dick. Fuck you. Fuck you again. Little bitch. It's a small win, guys. It's a small win. You're still probably wondering, how on earth do you make him rage quit? Let's go on the roof. I came back to try again. Oh! No way. Four health. Four health. I went one more time. This time, I brought a ladder and I was going to hold the roof. No way. Okay. Got a good view here. Now, I was on his roof for a while and I started getting bored and I nearly left. Of course, this is the time he chooses to be AFK. Okay. Here he comes. <gasps> he was AFK, but that's because he was crafting rockets and explosive ammo. He was about to go on a raid and I just got it all. Guess who wins? I win. Good job, Miles. Yes! We needed that! Come on! Yeah! What have we got here? Five rockets, a stack and two, a stack and 11 ammo. Make that a stack and 27. Fuck yeah! No, he didn't hear me. He was obviously a he was crafting. He was obviously crafting. Oh, the stress of today. It's been so bad and this, this was worth it. Just on its own. And four satchels. Oh, on its own, this was worth it. Hey, man. Man. Hello. You, you win. You win me. Yeah. Go, I give you my house. I, you're going to give me your house now. Guys, before we go check out what's in this base, do me a favor and watch this sponsor. Thank you so much. It helps the channel a lot. It's finally arrived. My new gaming PC, courtesy of Apex Gaming. Designed by myself, I'm absolutely digging the white case and the colors are insane. It truly is a beautiful PC with the hardware to back up its good looks. Sporting an i5 10600K processor and the RTX 3080, it's a beast. It will handle Rust and any other game, no problem. Get your hands on one by using my link in the description and use code SEBIK for your 5% discount. I fucked him so hard, he rage quit. Go, go, go with me. Good job, man. Thank you, man. It's only because you kept fucking me and every time you killed me, you were, you were fucking rubbing it in my face. No problem, no problem. This is game. So yeah, yeah. shit. Go, go, go. It's got armor door as well. Take. Uh, go. I... Fuck, fuck. Bad English, sorry. Okay, unlock uh, all doors. Unlock front door. Good luck, man. Thank Bye. you, man. Good game, good game. Well, there we have it, chat. I... <laughs> I fucked him so hard, he rage quit. And uh, actually, what a good sport that was. But the HQM. Tier 3. We don't, oh, yes. But you know what? We, we took his last explosive from him. And that's why he gave us a base. Man. It, oh, man, I'm so happy. <laughs> he doesn't actually have much. He doesn't have anything. But um, except the TC stuff.